I just had to respond to this video because um, I couldn't really tell where the woman was going with um, the idea of, you know, we have to do something different or we have to attack an issue differently. Um, you know, personally, I feel like, what about the concept of just being who we are and wearing our hair the way we want to wear our hair? And I think that if we have an acceptance for our hair, that other people won't have any choice but to accept it, if that makes sense. Um, you know, nobody can tell me to cut my hair. Nobody can tell me to alter, you know, the chemical makeup of my hair in order to keep a job. Um, nobody can tell me, um, you know, what I need to do in terms of uh, the way I do my hair. I mean, I don't know what type of uh, locks this guy had. I mean, maybe if he had them all wrapped up and they were in a big pompadour that somehow interfered with his ability to do the job, um, then I could see it. One of the things that I thought was very, I guess, disturbing was that this woman appeared to me to be an African-American woman, and I'm assuming, I'm making an assumption here, that her husband's African-American, and I think it was he knew about a job. I don't think he was the one hiring for the job. And for this man with the locks to be hindered or not even given an opportunity because he was being told by other black people that he would have to alter his hairstyle in order to just get an interview um, is upsetting. And it's indicative of one of the things that is... Um, basically holding us back and it's us it's our own concepts about what other people think it's our own concepts about what we think and what we think our hair means and and what it says and all of this other stuff our hair is just that it's hair it's what God put in our bodies to grow out of our body to be you know beautiful and thick and powerful and unique and um, I just I can't wait for the day when um, we realize that. That's it.